and we back cocktails in La Casa and I I wanted to take it back to a nostalgic time you all see my shirt it's the firm baby this is my homeboy Walt of laced apparel you can find him online I'll tag it in the description box but I said you know what I've been feeling nostalgic my music has been feeling nostalgic why not make our cocktails nostalgic but elevate them a smidge so we're gonna make us an amaretto sour. <laughs> I was like, let's take it back to the club days and I'm not talking about post, uh, pre-COVID, I'm talking about back in our days of yesteryear, back in our like our prime. So we're gonna make us an amaretto sour because that's what the birds like to drink, okay? First, we're gonna start off with a little Uncle Nearest whiskey, which you know is black owned and my favorite. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half of the Uncle Nearest whiskey. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of amaretto liqueur. Disaruno. Remember those commercials? <laughs> Disaruno. 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 They're like those uh, commercials from Sheep's Head Bay. Me and Exie were talking about where they be having the flames and the drink and stuff. And they'd be like, come over and drink some disarono, eat some steak. Okay. Disarono. <laughs> and then this right here is a spiced simple syrup. I did a, I actually just did a cinnamon simple syrup because I wanted to make it a little fallish and add a little zhuzh on it. You all know my favorite word. So we're going to do a half an ounce of our cinnamon simple syrup. Oh, she's messy. Why are you so messy? And then, I'm gonna do a half an ounce of egg white. Ew, Jade, that's nasty. So egg white gives it a really nice foam. It doesn't have a taste to it. Obviously, if you're vegan, you can leave it out. But it makes it, I'm trying to make you all a classic little craft cocktail. I'm trying to, please. So, we're gonna do a half an ounce, my shaky hand, of egg white. And then we're gonna do an ounce of lemon juice, which is about an entire lemon. Just easy for the squeezer. Huh? So I'm gonna do the juice of a whole lemon. Oh yes, and she's good and loose. Woman, thou art loose. The way I like it. Okay, so how y'all doing this week? Right? It's a rough week, no? It's long, so undecided. <laughs> So up in the air, you know, but you know, did we not know this was gonna happen? Like, I love when people act surprised. Um, as you all can see, this is cocktails in La Casa. Run and cut. Okay. All right. So now that we have all of our ingredients in our shaker, notice I did not say add ice to your shaker because you wanna do a dry shake that's without ice first. Then we're gonna add ice. We're gonna do another shake and strain into our coupe glass. So. I'm, girl, I'm gonna do a quick dry shake just to kind of get everything together. I'm just having a messy time over here. And then I'm gonna add my ice. I want Joe Biden, need Joe Biden. Did you see that? <laughs> And straight it into your coupe glass. Okay, a bougie amaretto sour. Let's taste it. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. I feel like I'm 20. Mmm. You know, but I have some decency about myself. And you see the pretty little foam that comes from the egg white, but you don't taste eggs. So that's it. That's how you make a little spiced amaretto sour. It's gonna take you back to your days of nostalgia. You can actually minimize if you want to or omit the simple syrup if you wanna take some of the sweetness out of it, but it's a really nice balance, especially with the lemon. And I'm getting all juicy mouth. So I will talk to you all later. We'll see you all next week or, you know, whenever I come back, bye. Pub mix. 
I'm in my own pub. It's my bar. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody 